Well, tracking the updates in the ADGP case there, earlier today, ADGP Ravindranath also went on to file a complaint at the Cabin Park Police Station. Let's take a look at exactly what he claimed in his letter. Here's what he said, and I quote, first of all, the subject, complaint against Shri R.H. Oradkar, IPS Commissioner of Police, Bangalore City, Shri Ravi Kante Gauda, the IPS DCP Central Division, and Shri M.S. Ravi, PSI High Grounds PS, Bangalore City. And these are the contents of the letter, and I quote, The above named officers have falsely implicated me in High Grounds Police Station, crime number 166-2014, under sections 354 and 506 of the IPC. Further, yesterday, which uh, he dates back to 22nd May, when I went to meet the Commissioner of Police to get myself arrested, the Commissioner of Police, Bangalore City, Sri R.H. Oradkar, said that the investigating officer has to arrest you. I told him that investigating officer told me that he requires your permission. Accordingly, I came to you, meaning Raghavendra Auradkar, to request you to direct investigating officer to arrest in the interest of justice so that I can give my statements and clarify the things. But you told me that we will go to DG and IGP. I accompanied you. At the portico of the commissioner's office, I told you, can I sit in your vehicle? You told me, don't touch me. Further, I said, can I sit in the back of your car? And you said to me, it is my car, you cannot sit. Further, you moved away from me, treating me as untouchable and ran away from the portico and asked your driver to come to the gate of commissioner's office, where you boarded the car and left to the DG office. This shows that you have practiced untouchability on me since I am a member of a scheduled caste. With the assistance of PSI High Grounds Police Station Mr. Ravi and DCP Central Division Mr. Ravi Kante Gowda, you have fabricated an FIR under crime number 166 bar 2014 under section 354 and 506 of IPC of High Grounds Police Station. This is because on Monday evening, that is on 26th May at around 6.30 p.m. in the DIG and IGP's chamber, you said to me, complainant in the incident of coffee shop in Cunningham Road came to know that I am a good officer and I have not done anything wrong and further you said that since I was put in lockup, you wanted me to forget ill treatment given to me by the PSI of the High Grounds Police Station. When the lady complainant did not want the case, he has forced her to lodge an FIR against me under sections 354 and 506 of IPC. Thus, he has implicated me in a false case and committed offence under prevention of atrocities against SCs and SDs Act 1989. Therefore, I request you to take legal action against the above-mentioned persons immediately and the FIR is delayed because I got my transfer orders and I was busy with very important matters pertaining to KSRP and my personal issues. The details I will furnish later. Signed, Dr. P. Ravi Ravindranath, IPS. Well, that was the complaint for you there. Soon after, we saw a meeting also taking place, but the commissioner will not be transferred. We will continue bringing you the latest updates with regards to what are the developments about that particular complaint. But moving on for now to some political updates, Prime Minister Narendra Modi today in his second cabinet meet issued guidelines to his ministers. Giving out a 10-point agenda for the next 100 days, the Prime Minister has called for better bureaucracy and asked for innovative ideas. Ideas. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been a busy man. Ever since he was chosen as the PM, he swung into action ensuring that good governance was top priority. And in his second cabinet meet today, the Prime Minister ensured that everyone was on the same page as he. Modi announced a 10-point agenda for the next 100 days and called for his minister's cooperation to achieve the same. Parliamentary Affairs Minister Venkaya Naidu, while mentioning the dates of the first parliament session, also spoke about Modi's priorities for his government. Honorable Prime Ministers stressed on three important aspects. One is 
the overall governance that is the need of the hour which has been lacking which has been lacking is my comment efficiency delivery system implementation these are the three important guidelines the honorable prime minister has given to the council of ministers today and what are the issues that are at the last stage take them on priority and try to move forward and in coming 100 days what are going to be your priorities what is your program what is your time table you work out and then try to implement it he has a low down of what figures in more these 10 commandments agenda 1 build up confidence in bureaucracy so that they do not fear to face consequences agenda 2 innovative ideas will be welcomed and bureaucrats will be given freedom to work agenda 3 education health water energy and roads will be priority agenda 4 transparency in government e auction will be promoted in tendering government works agenda 5 system will be placed for interministerial issues agenda 6 people oriented system will be in place agenda 7 addressing concerns relating to economy agenda 8 focus on infrastructural and investment reforms agenda 9 implement policies in time bound manner and agenda 10 stability and sustainability in government policies so there you have it in his second cabinet meet in the last 48 hours modi has issued guidelines to his ministers to ensure that the bureaucracy is built up and better governance is ensured no doubt indians will breathe a sigh of relief seeing this agenda considering civic issues like roads infrastructure and health are also figuring in the list He has also welcomed decisions and ideas from all the ministers asking them to innovate and brainstorm on new ways of governance. Venkaiah Naidu also mentioned that Modi stressed on the role of state governments and directed his government to reply to all letters from the different state governments. And then he also suggested that the representation or the proposals that have come from states they should not be kept pending for long. they should be addressed on priorities because the prime minister stress has been from the day one is that to take the states along with the, the center a real federal system wherein both should feel that they are the stakeholders well it definitely seems like modi is ensuring he can get the best from his cabinet and gives them freedom to take the right decisions it now needs to be seen if modi's government can live up to his expectations and if the 10 commandments are adhered to a news 9 report